welcome to sunday edition of faith boost the special edition of what i learned from what i learned from church today so we are continuing the topic developing a winning mindset so this is part three i believe i don't part one but two you can go through my videos say so what i learned from what I learned from church today. So the first thing today, we're continuing this. The main, the main text is Proverbs 24, 5 to 6. The Passion Translation. Proverbs 24, 5 to 6. About the Passion Translation. Um, it, it, so the first thing is take time. Take time to plan your life and then work it out. Right? That's the kind of what it is. Whoever has a plan will not be under pressure knowing that you are working the plan right and that the plan will work is a question of time as you stay consistent following through on your plans that's what i wrote down and then ask god to know his plan for your life before you start planning based on what you receive from god like apostle paul said to him lord what you would you want me to do after he got saved so and then give it says so ask god to know the plan and ask him to give you wisdom of the future wisdom of the future that's it you know so then i wrote down wisdom of the future i wrote down develop the wisdom of the future build for the future and then sow seed ahead so to develop the wisdom of the future you have to build for the future sow seeds ahead and then ecclesiastics chapter 11 verse 1 to 6 that's te another text ecclesiastics 11 1 to 6 so he explained that in tendency so this is like like what i say what I'm sharing with you from my note, gleanings from my note, what I learned from church. So, so there's a tendency for man to hoard when there is scarcity, right? So when there is famine, he says, instead of you to hoard, it's a time to sow. It's a time to sow because everybody else probably is going to hoard their own. And it, when he said that, it really reminded me of um, Isaac in Genesis chapter 26, I believe, you know, the Bible said that there was a famine, another famine after, after the famine that was during the time of Abraham, Isaac's father. So Isaac wanted, his plan was to go to Egypt, the same thing he saw his dad do, did, Abraham, but God told him, stay in Gera. So, but there was nowhere specifically God told him plant, but God told him to stay, to stay there. So everybody was holding their own seeds so this is what i my my understanding of what happened in there is my interpretation by the help of the holy spirit is that he is no brainer nobody else planted he only the one planted he planted the seeds and by the next year the harvest came demand is seeded supply right demanded seeded supply because this bible say in the same year he ripped on the force so people were coming to buy so he can put it any price he want demand is seeded supply the man become wealthy so let's say he say in the farming so according to the bible that's why that's exactly and then the example he gave us in the teaching was joseph joseph in egypt you know when joseph was in egypt and interpreted the pharaoh's dream and they started you know saving 20 percent and all then eventually when the people got after they have you know pharaoh and joseph have taken all their stuff the people came to him say give us seed and immediately they sold seed of course then they will leave harvest and harvest will get you out of debt so that's why i say the way out of debt is by putting your seed on the ground Winning strategy number four. Uh, winning strategy four. Numbers fourteen forty two to forty five. I'm not reading the scriptures. So you can find them. Right. Ensure you secure a supportive alliance that would ascertain your victory. So, if you're married, your number one alliance collaborator should be your spouse. If you're not married, then find somebody that is reliable that 
you know that you you know you can you can um that can be supportive in the plans and what you have what you're going to do and the steps you're going to do that way you know hold you accountable per se so the the that is what you you know to do so the the other one is says this the support alliance right um include i think i'm missing something here <laughs> the <laughs> i think there's there's some 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 gap where it says so you ensure you secure a supportive alliance that would ascertain your victory so what support alliances are now okay i, I get it it's, there's no link there's no missing nothing missing nothing broken the first one is the presence of god he said endeavor to cultivate the presence of god exodus 33 and matthew 26 secure the presence of god you know moses said to the lord if you not go with us we will not go i'm not going the lord said people that's what in the exodus if you read exodus 33 was conversation between god and moses so secure the presence of god Two, a man of God. So you have to have a man of God and anoint the anointed that you run things by. You have probably should be your pastor in the ideal world. You should have, you must have a pastor that you trust your your father in destiny. You know, if 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 you go to a church and you don't trust that pastor to and or respect him enough to run things by him, then I don't know. I think you should find your church right who is your pastor everybody god has signed them a pastor so uh, the third one is your encourager first samuel 14 6 to 17. i believe this is the story of jonathan the son of king saul and his armor bearer when one day his spirit was there to go fight the enemy and the animal bearer encouraged him and they did exploit number four is follow you know a fellow fighter find if some like-minded people who you want to become a millionaire right you find like-minded people you find a mentor somebody that is ahead of you in the game that has gone through where what you are where you are currently so and then they will encourage you to push through when you want to throw in the towel find like-minded if your best friend you want to go east in terms of plans and stuff and your best friend is heading west um it's not gonna work so you have to change you have to change find people that the same mind people that are heading the same direction as you the next one is the holy spirit john 15 26 jesus said he will um take that the holy spirit will take from him jesus and you know give us so make it let the holy spirit be your number one the first person before you even go to a human being before you go to the man of god you have to have a relationship a close work with the holy spirit because jesus said he will teach us all things and he's the convictor he's the he's the god in us so you follow the holy spirit follow the leading of the holy spirit um so that is that is that one so the developing a winning mindset and spirit continue now you say every battle won every battle is first won in the mind before you can see it it's so true i remember when i wrote my first book um that year our church was the uh, the the team was emergence i remember walking into the church one day i've seen this sign so many times but as i went towards the end of the year actually that that day flashed like like i saw myself like imagines into being an author that i never been an author before officially so and with that vision i started i started staying up i started staying up. i mean before i already started working on it but there was something he put in me and by the mercy of god i was able to put that book together so that's everything everything the everything we see you know i saw a plane today early and i was like look at that the, the right brothers you know how many times they must have thought how to you know use transportation air transportation and today we're enjoying it so my time is about to wind up so every battle first is won in the mind you say if you don't have a